Are you a virtual bookkeeper? Do you want to be? There are three questions that every virtual bookkeeper needs to know. Now, my name is Gabrielle Fontaine, and I'm the author of the Freelance Bookkeeper blog. And this is a quick video article that I think you'll find helpful if you're interested in offering virtual bookkeeping services. It actually is a pretty confusing topic, and the reason why is because we hear so many different terms and we're not quite sure what they all mean. Uh, online bookkeeping is one, virtual bookkeeper, I just use that, cloud-based apps, we hear all of this, but what does it really mean if you're a professional bookkeeper and either you're just getting started with your own bookkeeping business or you have an established bookkeeping business and you want to move it online and embrace the automation and technology that can really move your business forward and help you to grow quickly. An example of the confusion that we see came in through my help desk and it came from Dave who said he was asking about HubDoc, SmartVault, Zero. He didn't know should he be using all of them, any of them, if he wants to work virtually. And that's a common question and there's a good reason for that question. And it's because as we see here, this is a single page graphic that was created by Account Text to show all of the different app and actually it probably doesn't have everything on it they keep updating it with more but to show all of the different apps that are available to us and if we look even here just for the primary apps that we could use there are so many of them so the that's a big reason why there's so much confusion going on in our space so there are three questions that we really need to focus in on and it is what does it really mean to work virtually in the first place? We have to have that foundation. Which bookkeeping software is the best one for you? And do you need to use add-on apps like we saw that plethora of different choices. So let's dive into each of these questions and as my Canadian friends like to say, let's unpack them. And question number one is, what does it mean to work virtually? And just to make sure, because it sounded like with Dave's question that he wasn't sure what he had to do. Virtually really just means that you're doing the bookkeeping from your own office and it usually means that you're using the internet as a way to pass information back and forth between you and your client. Now there's software tools that um, you depend upon usually when you're working virtually, but it does depend on the services that you provide. And a big reason why many of us want to work virtually is because it provides us speed and convenience in being able to grow our business, systematize it and work more efficiently and of course it's a benefit to the clients as well because they're getting easier access and it just makes it work better for them as well to have their bookkeeping information they get it faster and more conveniently as well so question number two is which bookkeeping software should you use well my recommendation is to keep it simple. Do not try to be everything to everyone and this is where the rub is because we see all the choices that we have. You first need to choose the type of clients that you want to serve and the type of services that you're going to offer them and only then should you be choosing your software. But because if you're just starting out in your business you may not have all of that clearly in mind yet, the next best way to choose your primary bookkeeping software would be just to observe what are most small businesses in your country using as their main software. That will open you up to obviously be working with the clients that are using it and you'll attract them because you already know the software that they're using. I recommend that you find out what that is. It could be QuickBooks, it could be many zero it could be many of the other software programs that are out there just find out what are most businesses using and then focus on that software and master it alone because otherwise you will spread yourself too thin now question number three is do you need to use add-on apps well not necessarily and that's especially if you're just starting out in your business because you want to build it your business and choose your apps based on the goals and results 
that you need and your clients need. So some of the questions to ask when you are considering a third party app is, does it promise the results you need? Does it work with your primary software? They don't always integrate well. Is it convenient for both you and your client to use? And are you willing to make the payments? Is Are you willing to increase your overhead or is the client willing to make the extra payment? Because most of these third-party apps add additional monthly fees that you have to pay. So these, if you can answer these questions, it'll help you to decide on which apps are right for you. So when you can answer all of these questions, these three key questions of what is virtual bookkeeping? Do you really want to do it? Also, uh, what primary software are you going to use and do you need third-party apps? It'll help you to build confidence in running your bookkeeping business. Obviously, it'll also help you streamline your process, which means more profits as well. And you can grow your business more quickly because it'll be focused and it'll be much easier to attract more clients. So take the time to educate yourself because it will pay dividends because you'll be able to move much more quickly. So your next steps are to decide if going virtual is right for you, decide how you want to do it, where are your clients going to be located, and start putting together a plan. Second, choose your primary accounting software, and I'd recommend that you focus on just one, maybe two, and then streamline it, get to know that software well. And then invest in your ongoing education, raise the bar on yourself as a professional, and that will help you move much more quickly and prosper in your business. Also, I recommend using free resources to the full. Most of us do not. There's tons of information, but the key is you need to act on what you learn for best results, and I'm all about taking action. So, of course, I recommend that you check out my blog, The Freelance Bookkeeper, and explore the archives. You'll find a wealth of information there. And also, I am doing a live webinar this week, and we're calling it App Happy. It's the six-step process for choosing the right apps for you. We go much deeper into what we're talking about here. It is this week, Tuesday, March 28th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and you can register to join us live at thefreelancebookkeeper.com forward slash app happy webinar. And I hope to see you there. And we will have a replay in case you can't get there live.